This is a complete walkthrough guide to the Wild Rose Tall Tale in Sea of Thieves with every single commendation to unlock. In order to start the Wild Rose Tall Tale, you're going to need to sail all the way over to Sanctuary Outpost at the top left of your map. When you're at the outpost, you're going to go to the Order of Souls Lady, look to the left, and you'll see the book for the Wild Rose Tall Tale right over there. With the Tall Tale active, you'll need to collect five journals. The first one is at Lone Cove at that location. When you get on the island, you can run to the center rock, and once you get to the one side with the campfire, you'll see you can turn around it at this side, and you'll see there's a book lying just next to some flowers against the rock. And that is the book you need to read. The second journal is located at Sailor's Bounty on this island right over there. When you get on this small little island, you'll see here by the lantern and a bunch of barrels and wood, you'll see the book is just to the right of those. The third journal is located on the middle of Rapier K, right by the trees and grass area. It's literally just by these barrels over here in the front there. You can just read it like that. It's kind of easy. The fourth journal is located on Cannon Cove at this spot right over here. If you run on the beach past the boat, you will see there is a little camp set up over here. You can just run in here and you'll see the book is literally under this barrel on the side. The last book is located on Lagoon of Whispers at this spot right over there. When you get there, you'll see there's some barrels and a book on top of the barrel is the one that you need to read. And those are all five journals that you need to read just once. All right, so if you whip out your quest book, you'll see the last page talks about the chest of memories that you need to find. And it will give you a location of where to find it. You'll see mine says at Boulder K and it's really specific. There are only three locations that this chest can appear and I'm going to show you them on the map right now. If your book talks about Boulder K, the chest is located there. You just have to dig it up. If it's on Rapier K, you need to dig at this location at the very western side to find the chest. And if your chest is on the sandy shallows, if that's what it mentions in your book, you're going to have to dig at this location right over there. So just go to one of those three locations, whichever one is mentioned in your book, dig up the chest of memories. Then you're going to open the chest of memories and you're going to take the letter notes, which is going to add more pages to your journal book. And now is where the puzzles come in. So when you grab out your book, you'll see there's our memories page added and you'll see there's two stories. We survived our first ambush and the perfect plan. These two pages here reference a certain island or location that I need to go to to find one item on each island. So we're looking for two items. I'm going to show you each story and what island you need to go to and where you need to dig to find that item. So if one of your stories begins with our first kiss, you need to go to the Lagoon of Whispers at this spot over here. And if you dig, you will find the treasure item you're looking for. If you have the We Survived Our First Ambush story, you need to head to Cannon Cove at this location on the east side beach and dig there to get the, the treasure item. If your story starts out with Pig Chase, you need to go to Salty Sands and you basically stand at this spot looking over the island there and dig by your feet to find the treasure. If your story begins with Doing What I Do Best, you need to go to Boulder K and you literally just dig between the two palm trees closer to the straighter palm tree. If your story goes the day we found our pendants, you're going to have to go to Sea Dog's Rest and dig at this location marked on the map and on the ground there. If you have the argument story, you need to head to Twin Groves and dig between these two rocks right over there and you will see the treasures located between the two rocks. If you have the Our First Dance, this one is a little complicated. You have to kind of follow their dance moves, but you can dig up the treasure at this spot right over there. If your story is the perfect plan, you need to head to Sailor's Bounty and dig up under these two like green and blue floss things on the ground. If your story is our first bounty, then you need to go to Lone Cove on the left side by the tree closest to the ocean. You're going to dig there and find it. If your story is our vows, you need to head to Smuggler's Bay and right at the top of this point of the map here, you can dig just before that wooden bridge. If your story starts out with day 81, you need to head to Lonely Isle and you will dig at around this spot over here. You'll be finding George's Spice Box, which is the box of spices, and Rose's Music Box. Now you're going to sail back to Sanctuary Outpost. And you're going to give both of these items to Madame Olive here at the Order of Souls Tent, and then she will basically make you an enchanted compass. Make sure you take the compass before you leave the tent. Now I don't really need to explain how the compass works, you just follow where it's pointing and it will lead you to two different skeletal bodies. The first one will be George and you will get the rose pendant and you can take this and put this on your ship. The compass will then reset and give you a new direction to where Rose will be found. Now spoiler, you won't actually find Rose's body, you're going to instead find Rook, a skeleton who has George's pendant with him instead. So you're going to have to kill him to get, or her, or it, or s skeleton people. So just kill Rook and you will see he or she or it, the skeleton, will drop George's pendant. Now you can take this to your ship as well. 
Now once again, with the two pendants, you're going to sail to Sanctuary Outpost. At the outpost, you can give Madame Olive at the Order of Souls the two pendants one at a time, and this will signal the end of the Toll Tale, and you will receive your money and your commendations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. You do need to complete the Toll Tale five times to get all of the commendations, so good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for watching.